Hello YouTube. An unusual video was filmed on March 4, 2023 in the Privoski district of Astrakhan by Astrakhan photographer and astronomer Olga Semisotova. According to the Vkontakte group F.Y. Ziegel Amateur Astronomers Club. The author of the video was shooting this video on the convergence of Venus and Jupiter when an oblong glowing object appeared in the frame emitting a wide beam in front of it. The object made a wide loop in the sky and disappeared from view. The hypothesis proposed in the post were as follows. It was a new Chinese gadget from AliExpress, a secret weapon, an alien spaceship. The light from Venus that reflected from the upper atmosphere and caused an explosion of a swamp gas. Well, the FY Ziegel Club includes 15 permanent activists and astronomy enthusiasts. This is their core. They actively participate in club events create and promote astronomy in Astrakhan. The club itself has been around for a long time, and um, its backstory is quite large. The wave of astronomy lovers or enthusiasts originates in the 1990s, in the first half. And it was at that time that they began to observe the sky, and somewhere in the middle of the... 90s, they were already formed as activists with telescopes. They traveled by car to the Astrakhan region, observed astronomical phenomena, and started organizing interesting astronomical events themselves. And why does the club have such a name? The club or association is named after the Soviet astronomer Felix Yurevich Ziegel. His active period of life was in the post-war years, meaning post-World War II, somewhere from 1950 to 1980. He taught at the Moscow Aviation Institute. Felix Yurevich Ziegel was an astronomer and most importantly a great popularizer of astronomy. He has written many books and articles. He especially stood out for his book, Treasures of the Starry Sky. And this was like a small guide to the constellations. Questions on astronomy and instruments to measure celestial bodies were also revealed. That book has undergone many editions and sparked a lively interest in astronomy for thousands of people in the Soviet Union. So as a gratitude for this work, they named their club after Ziegel. Now let me add something. Ziegel was one of those Soviet scientists who actively studied UFOs, even though the Soviet authorities were quite against independent research. He and his group were also targets of foreign espionage activities. Well, that's a given. I'm sure the Soviets kept their eyes on U.S. and other ufologists. If you want to learn more about Ziegel's fascinating research and discoveries, please see the playlists I have attached about Soviet UFO cases, sightings, encounters, and also military and the KGB involvement. Now, the club members were asked by media, does the Astrakhan sky have its own peculiarities? But... Let me start with this, for those who don't know. Astrakhan is the largest city and administrative center of Astrakhan Oblast, a region in southern Russia. The city lies on two banks of the Volga River, in the upper part of the Volga Delta, on 11 islands of the Caspian Depression, about 100 kilometers or 60 miles from the Caspian Sea. The Astrakhan region is located along the river, but the marginal zones, especially the western ones, fall in the zone of steppes, like plains or savannas, and semi-deserts. In such an area, human economic activity is difficult. Therefore, there is little electrical light in these places, which highlights dust and water vapor in the atmosphere, 
due to which the background of the sky becomes whitish. In modern cities, the Milky Way, distant galaxies, and much more are not visible. But remote Astrakhani districts stand out with the dark sky. This is an oasis of dark sky on the border of their region and the Republic of Kalmykia within Russia, um, which is considered a huge rarity in, the, in Russia today. And they not only organize trips there for Astrakhan residents, but also invite residents from other cities to look at the practically untouched sky, the way our ancestors saw it 100 to 200 years ago. Okay? Now let me add something else. In my books, I have described the top secret Soviet UFO and USO research, Setka. And information about it came as the Soviet Union was disintegrating in the early 1990s. It was a, really a top secret program. I have encountered mentions, but very brief, of the strange material that the Soviet military scientists called the Astrakhan dust. It had to do with UFOs. But that's all I know. The Setka files are kept in inaccessible storages. But even the limited information I have collected and featured in my books and videos is enough to grasp the outlines of the incredible, fantastic, eerie, alien phenomenon present on our planet. You should feel sorry for the governments who know so much more than us and their inability to deal with this phenomenon, whether in China, Russia, or the United States. So that's what I wanted to let you know. I'll bring you more current information from Russia as well, videos, photographs, and not only Russia, post-Soviet countries, Ukraine, Central Asian countries, from China as well, you can see a lot in my channel, because China is Russia's neighbor, and it's, they look at each other and uh, collect information about each other as well, and that's important. So if you can support my research, you'll find how to do it in the links in the description to this video. As for the video that was taken by the amateur astronomer Olga, you can see uh, the link to it in the description to this video. Fascinating, fascinating video she did. All right, so please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, and we'll talk again later. Thank you.